Well, hello, boils and ghouls. I am uh, Rob French, your host here. Rob's Arcade. Today is Friday. And we all know what that means. We just got paid, so it's time to become Universal Annual Pass Holders. No! It's Friday. It's Rob's Arcade. That means it is time for New Game Friday. And just to reiterate, as I've stated in the past with other videos, New Game Friday does not necessarily mean this is a new game or a new title. In fact, this title dropped back, I think, in 2020 for the system here. Um, 2019, excuse me. Uh, so, uh, New Game Friday is not about new games or new titles. It's simply new games or new titles that are in my library. PlayStation is doing an amazing summer sale right now. So I picked this title up for next to nothing. And I thought this would be a really fun title to kind of jump into a new game Friday with because this isn't my typical type of game that I pick up. I'm not very much on the stealth and survival games, but I do love horror. And I thought this would be a fun kind of narrative. Uh, a fun narrative title. Green t-shirt, Baltimore Crows. But I also thought this would be a fun video to kind of, or, or game to kind of talk over. Yeah, so Blair Witch, the original movie, uh, see, I thought it came out closer to 94, 96, but I guess that's when the movie took place. The movie actually came out in the summer of 1999, and it was definitely a favorite of mine growing up. I worked at a video store around the time, um, it came out, and uh, I remember watching it and thinking, um, Jess, uh, hey, how cheesy it was. That was this was that movie. That. Am I steering? Or is this just kind of going on its own? Uh, I was actually steering the car there for a minute, but you don't have to steer. Uh, did you hear about the missing kid? I'm joining the search. The pack of smokes up on the dashboard. You know it, buddy. Oh, there we go. Why I look around be? the car a little bit. There we go. Keep your eyes on the road. But yeah, the Blair Witch was a really fun movie to watch. I remember watching that. Uh, no, just wait, wait, wait. No, I, I, I'm glad you did. When it came out, you know. I'm almost there. At the video oh, store, God, we got to watch later, videos okay? before they hit the shelves. And I remember watching that one and actually really liking it. Not thinking that I would, uh, just because it was like that first-person film you know, that, that through the camera perspective. Which I mean, it started. I feel like that that movie started that whole fad. There were so many more to come after that. Uh, so many films to try to emulate that first-person you know perspective. Green shirt, Baltimore cap. Even George A. Romero kind of went through the same thing with some of his uh, his, his zombie features. But because of that, I didn't think I would be really into the film, but I actually wound up enjoying it. Like, The Lair Witch was a fun film for me and my friends, believe it or not, to, you know, drink a few beers, drink a little whiskey, smoke a little pot, sit back and watch Blair Witch Project. And that was like, you know, the, the, perfect, uh, the perfect storm, if you will. Teenagers, up to no good. My mom enjoyed the oh, film a lot. Let's see if we can find a way to contact Sheriff Lanning. I remember she had like a. She was tripping off of the old like weird. Um, what is this? You can customize your dog fur color. I like that. Oh, cool. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one here. Let's select the collar. Go red. Eye color. Oh, get out of town. Right. 
I know, boy. What are we gonna call you? Oh, is it on? Is it on the? Is it on the tag there? What's your name? Full. Julio. Call you Julio. Yeah, but my mom liked watching Blair Witch with me. She would always had like a fun time watching that crazy old witch lady. The forest is the other way. I, I, I would disagree. I would say the forest is all around you, buddy. But all right, the forest is this way. Well, it looks like they've started without us, huh? Hmm. Hey, I don't see nobody. I guess this little arrow here is supposed to tell us where to go. Take one of these. Oh, do I have to walk around the cars in this in this manner here? Oh, here we go. I can, I can maybe take some equipment. They came well prepared. All right, dog. I'm trying to figure this out, man. Yeah, Blair Witch was a really fun movie to watch. Uh, I, I felt like it was that perfect. Oh, cool. drink some. <clears throat> drink some coffee. Let's look at it. World's best sheriff. Put that down. Let's see. Oh, it looks like they have the whole forest covered. Nice. Let's go ahead and read this guy here. See, so it looks like this takes place two years after the initial movie. Like I said, I guess it was just like 1999 when the first movie came out. It takes place in 1994. And like I said, beyond being this like movie shot in first person using, um, Cool. Alright, go back. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, yeah, go back. Cool. Ooh, a dog snack. My wallet. Hey Jess, looking good. Looks like she hasn't aged a day since then. You see, these games always kind of trip me out. But you can do stuff like, what is this here? Your fortune. What is this? Okay, watch your step. Your lucky number is 2, 125. A little something I brought back from our trip to Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. I can bring myself to throw it out. Cool. Don't think any of that was really necessary, but I'm glad we got all that cleared up. I do remember actually watching, uh, now I don't know if this like, there's I think three Blair Witch movies. You found something, buddy? Oh, we did. <clears throat> We're not leaving that laying around, right boy? this kid. He's been through enough already. If you stop pissing your pants every time someone mentions the witch and decide to show up, check the trunk, there's walkers in there for you. I'm leaving a photo of the kid we're looking for. Wow, cool. Thanks, Sheriff. Sorry, Anthony. First come, first served. Now I'll call Landing once I'm in the forest. Alright, let's see what we can do, um, backpack, dog snack, no, 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 no.
Why does he keep on with the wallet? I'm trying to do the dog snack. Plastic bottle. Oh, here we go. Heal. You want one of these, buddy? So weird. I remember uh, actually I watched Blair Witch with a few friends uh, quite often, and uh, what is this? Ooh, some kind of idol. Somebody missed this. Interesting. And it was one of those films where, like I said, it was just kind of fun to kind of kick back and watch the movie on a. Uh, rainy night or kind of like a spooky night and uh I've got the music going on already <coughs> oh no wait that's the, that's the telephone walkie talkie here we go no wait what are you doing not now I'll give him a call once I'm in the forest <laughs> I remember one night in particular watching the movie, it was just like a week night, and uh, come on, bullet. Watching it by myself. Find this kid. And about halfway through, oh here we go, we got that. What is going on? About halfway through, towards the end, my dad was like, you know, can you take the dog out? And I decided to take the dog out back in the backyard. And I remember actually being really terrified at taking the dog out back in the backyard. Um, the movie itself, to me, isn't very, very terrifying. Oh, that's really cool. I think what I enjoyed about the film the most was that it took place in the 90s with people about our age very much into like the very same things that we were into uh, so I didn't find it like a very scary movie but I do remember watching it one night <coughs> my dad's like hey just take the dog out back before you go to bed and uh, as soon as I took the dog outside I'm like surrounded by trees much like this in the backyard there's just a lot of trees I was like this is freaking spooky There's my dogs right here beside me. That much I can tolerate. Let's see here. I think we can. Some woodpecker. Not now. I'll give him a call once I'm in the forest. I'm in the freaking forest. Like, where do you think you are, buddy? You are not no in a parking lot. Any longer. It's called landing. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was just trying to do. Uh, the notes said to use channel two. All right, let's change your channels up. Three, two, oh, five. Nope, there we go. Ellis to base. Did you copy? Over. You're supposed to say over. Over. Joining the search party. Over. Sir, I'm here to help. That's all there is to it. Bullets with me. Why is the sheriff he turning the away scent, help looking for a kid? kid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, sir, I'm not going to screw this up. Not this time. Now, when with this game, there's a you know there's a ton of games uh, available right now. Like I said, Sony's doing an amazing uh, sale. Well, I, but I, I went with this now. one. Specifically because it's more of a... Time to get to work. You got it, dude. 
it's more of like a strategy survival horror video game um, I'm gonna kind of just read through some uh, some specifications real quick here while we kind of look around this forest it's kind of beautiful so it was developed by the blooper team and published by lion gates films which i feel like artisan films actually published the first movie i don't know if lion gate at some point took over artisan films if you guys know more about that please feel free to comment about that down below now a lot of the producers, directors, designers, programmers, artists on this game seem like they are perhaps German or Russian or French. Um, but the director is uh, Matsu Lenart. We have producer Simon Edmanski, Amanda Cruz. Thank you very much for having a simple one. We got a uh, Powell. Ni Zabowitsky, Marus Zafik, designer programmer. So sorry, guys, I'm butchering your names here. And then Damien Suwalski as an artist. And then the writers behind this are Barbara Markin and, gosh, Mr. Golob. Mars. Yeah. Wow. So, uh,. This was based off of, it looks like an independent story about just finding this boy here in uh, 1994, about two years before the actual Blair Witch Project movie started, but it all takes place within that same haunted woods kind of area. What's this over here? Looks like we got police caution tape here but this looks like old police caution tape is this something from a previous crime or is this just caution tape that's from this one that's been kind of like marking the boundaries of where this game starts I guess that's what that is it's just these are the markings here of where we're supposed to follow okay kind of cool I like that No, this is really eerie. So earlier today, as you know, we just recently moved to Florida. It was really cloudy, really spooky, really eerie. And, uh, <coughs> hmm, that woodpecker is freaking me out. I used to have a woodpecker in my house when I was uh, living over on Lakeside. What was that? I think that was my wife, maybe. Like something's coming from the other room. But yeah, it used to be a woodpecker uh, lived behind our house. And it used to wake me up first thing in the morning, kind of jolt me out of my sleep, and, uh... This is Bullet, your right-hand dog. Listen to his barching and... his barching. Listen to his barching and... Bach his body language. He'll be the first to alarm you of any trouble, but he'll need your help to deal with it. Remember, the way to treat him can affect his behavior later in the game. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. This is neat. All right. So if you choose to sight bullet, press L1 to call him back. See, I almost went with um, Shenmue 3, but I didn't go with that because that game is so complex and so um, so intricate. But this one seems like it's just as intricate. Oh, to seek. Okay. See if you can find something, buddy. Yeah, lead on, buddy. All right, let's go. I love this. Any game that features a dog, I think, is just uh, it's gonna win overall with me. Oh, whoa, dude! 
What is this? Oh, wait. We're looking for Peter, not the search party, buddy. Oh, okay. He's 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 getting it though, though. Don't worry, dude. Let's go. These woods are cursed. Oh, what you got? What you got, bullet? Come here, boy. What is this? Oh. Nah, this area is already covered. This is actually really creepy. Oh, so yeah, earlier it was kind of rainy and kind of cloudy out, and then all of a sudden the sun came up. And, uh... Had to, like, block off the sun. Luckily we got some pretty heavy, um, some blinds here. But I definitely recommend... Typically I come to you guys, like, kind of early in the morning with the Rob's Arcade, checking out new games on New Game Friday. But that's because if you guys are hanging out at work, I want you guys to be able to, like, watch this stuff. What you got? What you got, boy? Yeah, I kind of wanted to come later in the day with this because I'm hoping you guys, instead of watching this while you're at work, choose to kind of watch this with the lights out tonight, you know? You're all alone. It's creepy. It's late. Maybe it's a little rainy. Oh my gosh, my dog does this. What a cool programming thing. Yeah, my dog does that all the time. That's so cool. Search. Come on. What's around here? What's around here, boy? Nothing, eh? Can anyone hear me? Over. Oh. <clears throat> All right, well that's R4. So, the night in the woods. Just like old times, huh? What? Well, sure as hell hope not. Well, oh. Well, this will be different. Oh, I think they're talking about the kids. I think they're talking about the kids from the movie. Alright guys, well, R4 just alerted me that it's a good time to wrap up this segment, but hang tight because I am going to be right back and it looks like Bullet has found something. Hold tight, boy. Where are we going? Where are we going, boy? Where are you? Bullet. All right, guys. Well, you hang tight. I'll be right back here with my boy Bullet. 
Let's see what these guys have to see. Here, look around, boy. Oh, he's got something. He's got something. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Like, share, comment That's down below. Out. Subscribe. Oh, you son of a gun. And uh, don't forget, until next time, do not spend your quarter anywhere else. I will be right back, guys. Thank you so much.